earliest memories are uh, definitely with my grandma. Uh, her, we called her Grandma Zoo. Uh, she took me to the zoo when I was little and she taught me all about the zoo and conservation and why it's important. And uh, the reason I kind of started Zoo Teens was because of her. When my grandmother passed away, I didn't know how to cope with it. So I decided to give back to the place that she loved the most. So I came to the zoo and started volunteering here. But I've been able to see kids that have come in Camp Zoo, grown up, become a zoo teen, and then become instructors. I mean, that's so fulfilling to me. It's, it's just, I can't even tell you how special that is. You want to touch him? You can touch his back. Feels just like He's that. so silky. The Phoenix Zoo provides experiences for kids, and it provides experiences getting back to nature, getting close to animals. Um, nature becomes something real when, when you're able to experience it the way that we can here at the Phoenix Zoo. So we're going to play with it, stuff some food inside of it, and uh, that makes the cows really excited about this particular. And we do have a lot of fun in everything that we do, but it's also really important. Um, the role that we play in, in developing the next generation of environmental stewards and people that we're going to be, to be leaving nature and the earth in their hands. And then we come back down here. I wanted to do something with them that was something special they did with Grandma. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I just started looking into the programs and at two, of starting with the oldest, we did the breakfast with the animals. And I was immediately impressed. Just because, so now we had a combination of doing something with them that was both educational and interactive for us together to do. And honestly, I think sometimes I asked more questions than the kids did. I mean, so it's become a learning experience for me also. This is Tango, and he is a black and white tegu. He is not sticking his tongue out because he thinks you're mean. He is not sticking out to be rude. Instead, he's actually sticking that tongue out to smell you. The zoo's mission is to inspire people to care for their natural environment, and I think it did just that for me. I mean, coming here from when I was little, the zoo has inspired me, and its mission really works. I mean, it takes people in and shows them, you know, the beauty of the animal kingdom and what we can do to help. I love educating somebody. I love when you can see a light bulb go off in somebody's head about, about what they could do to either conserve our natural world or help these animals that are in danger. It's, it's very gratifying seeing the expressions on people's faces when they learn something new that they didn't know before. <laughs> you see the monkey monkeys? Look, and there's two over there, Eli. <gasps> Here he comes. What was that, cheetahs? Sape rico. It's a zebra. <gasps> here comes the boat. Oh, look at them kicking. Oh, they're so happy you're here. If there's lots of frogs, the, the scientists are happy because that means the environment is really good and healthy. My favorite words to use when we're talking with, with all of our kids is wonder, and we see the kids' sense of wonder. And the, They're not even learning in the same way that we would think that they learn in school. They're learning just by watching and observing, and they're seeing things that they've never seen before. And just by doing that, they're becoming more than they were when they, before they came to the zoo. We're going to feed Zuri. Zuri is our big girl. And we like to feed her because she insists. Want to give that to the giraffe? Give that to the giraffe. <gasps> Yay! You're changing people's minds and attitudes about animals. There's a right way to do things, a respectful way to do things, a necessary way to do things that, that ultimately helps the animals which helps the planet, which helps us. We're still part of all the things that go on on this planet, and we also are part of the solution. The largest part of supporting the zoo and building it to be the world-class zoo that everybody wants it to be has got to come through donations. It has to. I mean, and it's not going to grow without that. It's the public that really funds and spurs what we can do here and how much we can help animals out in the wild from supporting our animals within the zoo. This 
is what I want to do. This is what I'm meant to do. <laughs> I'm currently going to school uh, to be a zookeeper. And my ultimate dream would be to work here and work through the ranks and become the director. I mean, I talk to Bert all the time and I laugh at him and tell him, you know, just warming up my chair for me. So he's a good, he's a good sport about it. <laughs>